Russians are furious about the Yak-52 that shoots down their drones. They don't know what to do. The Russians are very tired of the Yak-52, which is successfully engaging in air battles with Russian reconnaissance drones. According to Forbes, in three months, two pilots in a small plane destroyed at least 12 Russian UAVs. Russian mill bloggers are calling for it to be shot down. The problem for the occupiers is that the Yak-52 is difficult to shoot down for the same reason it is effective at destroying drones. It is durable and stealthy. The propeller-driven Yak-52 doesn't paint a big picture on the radar screens of Russia's jammed long-range air defense batteries. And even if you damage a Yak-52, say by ramming it with a drone, the crew can still land the plane. Earlier this month, another Russian blogger complained that the Yak-52 crew was shooting at our UAVs like they were a shooting range over the southern Ukrainian city of Odessa. The publication writes, the Ukrainians began using the Yak-52 to hunt drones back in April of this year. The experiment worked so well that Ukrainian intelligence began shooting down Russian UAVs from another small plane, the Aeropract A-22. The successful practice has inspired new counter-drone tactics. Meanwhile, the Russians are growing impatient as their losses mount. The Yak-52 flew over Odessa and shot down our reconnaissance UAVs with high efficiency for a week, which caused laughter in some circles. UAV operators and we have not found this funny for a long time, complains one of the Russian mill bloggers. However, it is not yet clear how to counter such small aircraft. Their patrol zone is far from the nearest Russian positions and Russian air defense will not be able to reach them due to the distance. In addition, they are also difficult to detect by radar. Russian operators of the same drones that the Yak-52 crew is hunting could have tried to ram the Ukrainian aircraft, which would not be new. For 28 months of the war, Russian and Ukrainian crews have shot down enemy drones by aiming their own drones at them. But it's one thing when there are two drones, each weighing only a few dozen kilograms, and another thing when a 20 kilogram Zala drone crashes into a 1.5 ton Yak-52. Сейчас будем выходить на открытое, на открыточку. Опасный маршрут начинается. И поехали. Вот это вот, наверное, тропа. Доехали. Им не повезло. Все, открыточку нам проехать до посадочки. Дотянуть с нам. Дотянуть чуть-чуть. Скажу покойнее что-то. А это ж мы как смертники ездили по этой дороге. Вот они, все здесь. Все здесь. Амаз. Все, чуть-чуть осталось. На посадочке.